Last episode, Usagi saved Tuxedo Mask from the evil clutches of Kunzite, only to discover that he was Mamoru the entire time. And the winner of last week's Sailor Moon Says contest is... Amuya Reviews. Keep your eyes open. Those two men who look exactly alike could be the same person. Sage advice. <laughs> After last week's super slow-mo reveal, Usaki comes to her senses and realizes she spilled the beans that she was in love with Mamoru to, well, Mamoru. <laughs> Dress up in funny costumes and fight crime. <laughs> but Mamoru's guilt over being engaged to Hina gets the better of him and he loses his nerve. I know what you're thinking, and the answer is probably double-sided tape. At the Negaverse, Kunzite is arguing with Zoisite. He says that Endymion, their previous master, should be killed because he destroyed the planet a long time ago. Kunzite, you know you're on the planet, right? But Zoisite disagrees, saying that if they could only get rid of the princess, then everything would be fine. Jedi grats out Kunzite to Queen Beryl, telling her that he believes the princess is a fake. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> fake. Hina is packing and oh shit she finds Usagi's handkerchief in Mamoru's drawer. And on the same day as their engagement party. Girl, you better watch out. You're gonna end up throwing chairs at people on Jerry Springer. I'm sorry, that was really rude. Montel Williams. Mamoru goes to Crown because it's apparently the only place in town at all. And it's been a while since I watched this series all the way through. But depending on how you look at it, this is either Matoki's best or absolute worst turtle moment. Motoki? What are you doing? This? Ah, it's a different taxi. Ina-chan was on the day of the woman's hand. In fact, I was really worried about it. You were worried about him? Motoki. But I'm a friend of the woman's husband. If you don't like it, you'll be married to the woman's husband. If you don't like it, you'll be married. Hina overhears them and runs away. Hina! <laughs> but more importantly, someone please make a gif of this. Usagi is actually being sensible for once and says, Enough pussyfooting around. I'm just going to ask him if he likes me. But the Negaverse interrupts by sending a monster to draw the scouts out into the open. Mamoru goes after Hina, who is so upset she doesn't even run from the monster. Hina. 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 Oh my god, what a guilt trip! You can't make someone love you. We're not friends anymore. But Mamoru caves and says until she says no, he'll be with her. Usagi transforms to join the other scouts, and wow, they rented out an entire convention room for this scene. Moving up in the world, PGSM. Mamoru leaves Hina on a park bench, which I'm sure is super safe, and dons his tuxedo mask costume one last time. Don't think! It's your only weakness! But it was all a trap and Dark Mercury shows up, looking pretty awesome, actually. Being evil has done wonders for her fashion sense. Luna and Artemis show up too, so most of the main characters are all in this room at the same time. That's how you know something big's about to happen. Kunzai goes in for the kill and... Oh! Oh, it 
Is he just like split in half like in an anime? <laughs> Mamoru shares a few precious last words of Usagi and then full on dies. <laughs> And Usagi is so upset that she gets all shiny and bright and flashy and she just kind of, she basically goes Super Saiyan. It appears that this moment is a direct reflection of past events, events so jarring to the space-time continuum that the scout's past life memories come flooding back in one fell swoop. And Okay, I pulled that completely out of my ass, but I mean, come on, they're not explaining it. <laughs> At long last, the mystical silver crystal appears and heals Mamoru's cut in halfness. <laughs> I'm sorry to spoil a moment, but is anyone else super disappointed in that dress? I mean, she's a moon princess, and that looks like it came off the clearance rack at David's bridal. You were a moon princess in a past life. So no, but everyone's going with it anyway. <laughs> The end. Sailor Moon says that guilt tripping someone into loving you is wrong and can only end in appearances on daytime talk shows.